Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I'm Miss Lisa, and this is my YouTube channel where we talk about everything I want to, science and math. And what we're going to do today is we are going to be graphing um, natural things with natural log, E, that button in your calculator that is the second of the natural log. It's E is a number like pi, and if you want to know more about it, watch the Algebra 2 videotape that goes with that. There's a whole videotape. Look for section 8.8. Um, .8. All right, so if you're following along with the book, we're going to be looking at page 520 and 521, but you don't have to be following along the, with the book to do this. So first we're going to turn on our calculator, and we're just going to graph something that has an E in it. We're going to do number 24. So we go to Y equals. See all my plots on because I was doing something else? I'm going to turn that off first. Okay, now I'm going to go back down, and I'm going to put this in. This is a fraction, so I'm going to use my shortcut menu, alpha yx, number one, numerator over denominator. If you don't have the shortcut menu, put it at everything in parentheses. Put your numerator and denominator in parentheses. So it's 4 over 1 plus 2 times e, so I do second natural log, there it is, and then it is negative 3x, negative 3x. Definitely done. Now, <clears throat> I've been messing with my window, so I'm going to say zoom standard to get a good window. And now here it goes. Ta-da! There's that classic shape it's supposed to have. All right. So now I'm going to go back to y equals. I'm going to clear out what's in here, and we're going to do this. Okay, so now what we're, we're going to do a linear regret, not a linear, we're going to do an ex, uh, logistic regression. I'm going to put in this data about yeast, and then we're going to get the formula that goes with it. So I quit out of this, second mode is quit. I go to stat, I want to put in data, I say enter, and I've already put it in. I would put in zero, enter, one, enter, because the, my X's, my first list is right there, my second list is there, and I've already put it in. Once you if you if you have something in it already, you hit delete to clear things out. Just make sure you're not up here with your cursor because you'll delete the whole list. You can put it back with stats set up, but it's just better not to delete it in the first place. All right. So they want me to do a scatter plot of this. Now I'm gonna have to adjust my window because see how that goes to almost 500? My standard window isn't going to work for that. So I'm going to go a window. I don't have any negative numbers, so I'm going to make my yx minimum zero. My y minimum, I don't have any negative numbers, so I'm going to make it zero. But my y max needs to be 500 because um, for it to show. And I want a scatter plot. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to turn back on plot one which um, I already have set to be a scatter plot. Uh, if you don't have your set, you do it like this. Second y equals, you go here and turn this on, you hit enter, you make sure it's on, it's dots, you're going to use list one and list two, and, um, and that could be my marks, and they're going to be blue. Or we could change them, we can make them red. Let's make them red, that'll be more fun. All right, so this is ready to go. I'm going to graph it, and da 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 there it is. Now, I want the equation for this line. So I go back to stat, I go over to calc, and I go down to logistics. Now, okay, and it says, do, you, do, do we want to calculate this formula using list one and list two? Yes, we do. And so I tell it to calculate. It's thinking about it. And there it is. Okay, so how it's written is in this form. Y equals C over 1 plus A times E to the negative BX. And they tell me that C is 721, B is 0.452, and A is 71. So that's this equation. Y equals 721, 1 plus 72e to the negative 0.526, and they use t instead of x. So you do calc, logistics, and then tell it to calculate. Now that we've got it, we can go back over to yx and put it in. So, oops, I got the wrong one. Alpha y equals. There we go. I need the numerator over denominator. And so this is 721 over 1 plus... Um, 72e to the negative 
0.526x. Okay, so I got it in. If I hit graph, it should draw a line through the dots, which is very satisfying. Isn't that great? So fun. All right, like, share, subscribe. Come back next time and we'll learn something else to do with our fun calculator. Uh, math is great.